At least four people were killed after a train in the Gopibagh area of Bangladesh's capital Dhaka caught fire in an alleged case of arson ahead of the national elections scheduled for the 7th of January. Four coaches of the passenger train, Benapol Express, came under the grip of the blaze in what is alleged to be an attack aimed at scaring people and barring them from voting. In the parliamentary elections, the fire broke out as the train was moving towards Thaka railway station at 9 p.m. According to the country's railway officials, most of the 292 passengers were returning home from India. The former Prime Minister Khalid, uh, Ziyalad's, uh, Khalid Ziya's uh, party and other opposition parties have announced boycotting the polls, alleging the incumbent Sheikh Hasina government of not conducting free or fair elections under her regime. The opposition has demanded a neutral caretaker government to administer the polling, which was turned down, citing there was no provision in the constitution for such a move. My colleague Arzu with us on the broadcast. Arzu, if you can take our viewers through the details of this passenger train that has been set on fire in Dhaka. Um, well, you know, very unfortunate incident that is reported in Bangladesh. Also, the timing of the incident raises concern as Bangladesh wishes for the national election is scheduled on January 7. Uh, you know, soldiers have been deployed across the country to maintain the peace and security amid the fear of violence. And also, you know, uh, the uh, Benapol Express caught fire in the suspected arson attack causing the death of more individuals and leaving several other injured. Uh, you know, the train en route from the fort to Dharka and uh, caught fire in Gopi Bag, an older part of Dhaka near the city's main rail terminal. Also, uh, the fire uh, you know, service officer mentioned that at least four coaches of Benapol uh, Express were engulfed in flame. And uh, according to the reports, Indian citizens were on board. Uh, police uh, officials suspected an arson attack during political unrest just ahead of the national election. Also, uh, he, they, they mentioned that we suspect the fire in Incident was an act of sabotage. Uh, this is what you know the, the police chief uh, said. And a young man also lost his life while attempting to evacuate passenger during the incident. Uh, the uh, the statement also came from the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, addressed the campaign rally, urging peace as the country faces a tense electoral environment. The election commission plans to you know hold polling in 299 out of 300 constituencies and. The international community remains un, you know, watchful amid fear of potential election tampering. Yes. Right, absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for joining us on the broadcast. And Jeev Srivastava also with us uh, this morning. A very good morning to you, sir. However, things do seem a little difficult in Bangladesh right now. We're just a day ahead of elections. A passenger train has been set on fire. What really do you think? Is the messaging here that is going out to the public, do you feel that this could possibly be an attempt to tell the public of Bangladesh to vote carefully in the elections tomorrow? Well, uh, no. first of all, a very good morning to you. Good morning to all the uh, viewers. You know, in Bangladesh, uh, opposition parties are uh, boycotting election, whether it is uh, BNP or other parties. And uh, uh, they, are, uh, they had been demanding that... Uh, uh, first, uh, say, Kasina government uh, should uh, resign and a uh, caretaker government uh, uh, should uh, take over and uh, under the uh, supervision of the caretaker government, uh, this election should be conducted. And, uh, but uh, uh, obviously, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, say, Kasina government has been, you know, of the uh, view and very clearly they stated that, that there is no such provision and that the, if there was any provision, such provision that was struck down by the uh, Supreme Court of Bangladesh long back. So I think, uh, uh, but uh, opposition parties are obviously, uh, they are uh, uh, saying that the uh, elections are not going to be free and fair uh, with this, uh, uh, say, uh, Hasina government, uh, if it is, if, uh, if she is in power. So I think uh, they are doing a lot of protest and, uh, uh, it is uh, likely that uh, there could be more such uh, violence incidents in Bangladesh uh, because uh, uh, this uh, entire uh, uh, situation, uh, political situation, is uh, uh, going to be uh, uh, quite uh, uh, unstable, though the security forces are uh, doing their best uh, uh, to normalize the situation and to maintain the law and order. But uh, the kind of uh, political environment is prevailing at this point of time in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, it is likely that there could be more, you know, violent uh, incidents in times ahead 
and uh, and uh, obviously uh, the elections are going to be held uh, uh, tomorrow but uh, certainly uh, this elections uh, uh, opposition parties are boycotting and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, going to be creating uh, a lot of uh, political instability and even uh, after the elections uh, uh, will uh, everything uh, uh, entire world will be watching in fact that uh, what is what is going to be happening in bangladesh uh, afterwards uh, and uh, and uh, and what kind of uh, political uh, scenarios are emerging uh, uh, after elections uh, because uh, opposition parties are of the view uh, that uh, it is uh, not a free and fair election uh, but uh, yes uh, with regard to uh, say khasina's government uh, resolves and uh, I, i think the government is committed for this election and uh, they are going ahead with uh, these uh, elections tomorrow uh, with all you know best security measures uh which could be uh, possibly taken uh, to conduct these elections uh, in a smooth manner for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon